Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm completed with my light fixtures that I picked up yesterday. So I have one, two, three fixtures now. And that's really cool. Worked out really good. Um, all I do is drill some holes in the top and put some cotter pins. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Put that down. Okay, let's turn this light on so you guys can see. Right here I have some cotter pins on the bottom. And it just comes to that. I use the black ties to hook right around this. So I do it on both ends. And that's what holds this light fixture up. So I got two more of them. And uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right. Now this one here is just blue spectrum. This one here, I'm going to turn this one on. You guys notice the light difference. Quite much brighter. That's blue spectrum. This is the red spectrum. These, I believe, it is, is it about a 4100 Ks, and this is 2700 Ks. So that's what I'm going to do. On the very top is a dual spectrum as well. I got cool and warm whites. This one here is just cool whites, and this one here is just warm whites. And then let's go to the third one. What I did with this one is just like the top. You guys can see the reflection, that little blue area back there, that's from the blue light on the inside, and this one here, closer to us, is the red spectrum. You guys can see that. See that blue in the back? And then in front, you guys can see that this is red. Or well, the reflection on the side, and then blue in the back. So that's what I'm gonna run with. I'm gonna just check it out. This is gonna be a dual spectrum. A completely red spectrum, a completely blue spectrum, and again, a dual spectrum on the top. All right, so anyway, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I had to go run out just today and get, they only had two of those lights left. And they actually just come right out of the box just like this. Just have a piece of plastic on it, so I modified by drilling those two holes, cotter pins, black ties, got my fixtures up. So now everything's looking pretty sweet. I got a light on each dome, and a pretty nice distance in between, not so far, but yet not that close as well. So pretty, pretty happy about that. So I got four trays no matter what. Each light is isolated, so I can go on and off with that. Very cool. Um, also, what I did is I put, if you guys want a real inexpensive liner, like this one here, what is this? Is a shower curtain. It's just a shower liner, actually. The curtains are thicker. But that's what I use because it's very inexpensive. You know, you can spray it with water. You can even wipe it down. No big deal. I had an option. Either do this or paint the walls white. So I just hung this. Took me two seconds. Cost me 99 cents. Now, I also put a hanger up here. So I can have the option of closing this if I wanted to. And the only reason I close it is because this light keeps me up at night. Uh, my bedroom's actually right across this, here. Uh, take a look, see. There we go. That's my bedroom out there. This is my walk-in closet. So it's called my walk-in closet propagation room. And my vegetation room is going to be right on this side. So I have already uh, an extension cord for my lighting. I did buy um, a pole that's going to run right across here. And I did also get some chains uh, to hang them. And these are the chains right here. But I'm more interested in the hooks because I have these here. These set of two to um, hook up on my lights. And this is really cool. I was going to the garden section. I found a thousand and one uh, pest free naturally. Uh, that's cool. I found this also small garden book. And uh, man, I lost this and I found it. It was in one of my other bags. I like this Lily Miller. It gives me a lot of info. And then uh, I got these lights. These are the Red Spectrum 2700s. They run at about 19 watts, but they put out 75 watts. So the one with the Red Spectrum is pulling out 150. Uh, let me see the blue ones. The blue ones are 32, I believe, and they are putting out 
Oh, gosh. I'm thinking they're putting out about the same thing. But anyway, let's see how it runs. Uh, I'm not quite ready to start my seeds yet, but I will in a few days, I believe. I just want to make sure I got everything dialed in and we got my controls and my temperatures. Uh, so far, the temperatures look really nice. Uh, they're holding humidity is at about 50, and I continue at about 78 degrees. So I'm really liking that. Just below 80 at 78. Uh, the humidity and down is a little lower. But between 40 and 60, I'm good, and right now I'm at about 50. So, woohoo! One more thing I wanted to introduce you guys to. Let me put these lights up here. Uh, is Alaska Pure Kelp Plant Food. They just came out with this. It does carry an NPK. Uh, you know, the N is uh, 0 0.13. You got no uh, P in here. But you do have K, 0 0.60. So uh, let me see. There's total nitrogen, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, copper, iron, manganese, uh, molybdenum, sodium, zinc. So looks like the micro and macronutrients are all pretty much in here. So I'm going to give this a try as well. I uh, got this at Home Depot. And I believe it is a new product for Alaska. Uh, looks like they're merging or have a sister company that does fertilizer as well called Pennington. And then if you even dig even further, uh, I believe Lily Miller is also associated with this. So you guys have a great day. Mr. Puck is signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. And I can't ready to make my run. Peace. See ya.